Used in combination with PowerShape, this add-in allows you to select machining files and nest them to maximize stock material usage efficiency. The add-in allows the import of multiple parts into a single stock block, with each part having a quantity required, allowable rotation increments and a priority. The parts are then transferred to PowerShape, nested and then brought back to feature count. Running the simulation then allows the remaining stock to be saved and re-imported for later use, further increasing stock usage efficiency. So in this example, there's no file to load from the image. What we do have is we have a folder location. If you open that folder, what you'll see is there is a, a series of files here uh, that are ready to be nested. You can copy that location and use that to access these files quickly. What we need is the add-in loaded, so I'm going to go to my options, add-ins, into the library. I'm going to scroll down to my utilities and you should see one called nesting.bas. I'm going to say load, say OK, and what you should get is a new toolbar with a new icon on it. Let's open that nesting icon. So here we get the nesting form that allows us to set the stock material and also add the parts that we wish to load in. We can also set the distance between the parts and text height uh, and also choose the block type. I'm going to choose to add my parts. Note in this case I've gone directly to that folder but you can use that folder link to follow this location. So let's select three parts using my control click. I'm going to open those up and you see the parts are loaded in accordingly. I also want to set my material stock, so I'm going to set the length and width to be a metre and then set 20 millimetres to be the thickness. Distance between parts I'm going to set to be 15 millimetres and I'm going to set a text height of 10 millimetres. Around this area you can see we've got the quantity, priority and rotation increment. So I'm going to keep the rotation increment as default. For the quantity I'm going to have four of these four of these, let's have ten of these. Under the priority this will choose uh, the priority based on the size of the parts uh, but we can always override this by simply entering a priority number and allowing us to order which one of those will be used to maximize the material available. Once we're happy with that we say OK. Feature cam begins to load in each of the component parts So they're being loaded in. And if you switch to PowerShape, we can now see the process happening within PowerShape where it's taking each of the part components, taking our stock material, and what it's going to do is going to load those in to a nesting form. So the three parts are now loaded in. It's using my quantities to position those accordingly. I get a warning in my nesting form. It's asking me if I want to modify any positions. We can do that just by simply going into PowerShape and grabbing any of those items, moving their location to somewhere that we're happy. Once we're happy, we can choose to say OK. The parts are now nested and they will start to be sent back over to FeatureCam ready for machining. I'm not going to review the log, so just continue. You can see we get a progress bar indicating how far we are through the nesting process.
make all the part positions, including the one I modified. And then the removal of any unwanted geometry, like so. So we get a question asking, would I like to save the stock for later use? I'm going to say yes. So what FeatureCam will do is run through the simulation. So you can see all my nested components. process is complete. If I go back into my nesting form, you'll now notice that we have a new block available to us that we can utilize at a later stage to again maximize the efficiency of our machining process.